Hello YouTube and welcome back to another episode of To The Moon. In the last episode we did some memory stuff in this bar looking situation and um, that's all I can remember. It's been a while because I, 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 I was gonna record it yesterday but we ended up going out to a bunch of places yesterday and trying to get a bunch of different stuff done and find certain ingredients for meals and nobody cares but this video is late. I'm recording it at 2. 30. 2 30. I'm recording it at 2 30 the day it's supposed to go up and here is why. I already tweeted about it but I feel the need to constantly let you guys know what's happening in my personal life so here we go. Um, we got up this morning everything was normal but then we went out to the car and we had a flat tire. One of our tires just killed itself overnight so I had to find a different way for him to get to work, husband, um, and I, have to I had to find a different way for him to get home and we got that all settled. Uh, a couple hours ago, and then I had to cancel a bunch of appointments, reschedule a bunch of appointments, figure out maintenance stuff, figure out tire stuff, and uh, in the end, finally got it all figured out. So I'm recording pretty late today, and I, I am sorry about that, but this, like, <laughs> every time I try to record to the moon, something goes incredibly wrong. It could be completely far-fetched. Our car was fine. Nothing was wrong with it, and then bam, the tire just went kaput. Okay. But we are gonna get back into this. Um... And really quick, I'm gonna make sure that everything is still recording. Anyways, this game's hard to record. So, here we are. We are Dr. Rosaline in the bar. And I am to find... Um, memento situations or memories. Oh, what the fuck? There's like ghost people here. Dr. Rosaline, the world would be a lot more beautiful if people just remembered faces more. Oh, that's so true. <gasps> What's going on over here? What's up? Anything new today? No. What are you rereading there? The Emperor's New Clothes. Ah, she does like that one. I loved this when I was young. Still do, huh? Of course. Just for different reasons. When I was a kid, I loved the Animorphs. That, yep, you did. I know, your mother gave you a book from it as a wedding present. Heh, <laughs> yeah. That was one, one odd wedding present. I guess I was pretty obsessed with it when I was a kid. Why haven't you read them since? Huh? I saw them. They're collecting dust in the garage. Well, I just grew out of them, I guess. I mean, they're children's books. What's wrong with reading children's books? Yeah, I agree. <laughs> they're comforting. I just think they're interesting. I suppose so. I love fantasy. You don't see that in many adult books. I think I'm going to get this one. Whoa. Johnny Boy just blinked out of existence for a second. Okay, what are you doing over here? Whoa. I touch him and he goes somewhere else. That doesn't sound good. Hi. Tobias, Hawk, Rachel, Grizzly, Jake, Tiger, Marco, Gorilla, David is yellow. Cobra. Cassie, Wolf, Y. Oh, just wondering. You could have just Googled it. Wait. Oh, did I get these out of order? I'm not yours, you're not mine. Be my Auntie Valentine? Hey, River, this one's not that corny. River? Oh, I must have read these out of order. Okay, what, what if I go talk to him talking to this little girl? But what about David's? He's my favorite character. Um, I don't know. What are you talking about? Animorphs, have you read it? No. Yes. Really? Sort of. Oh, oh do you know what animal is David's main morph? Um, oh, it's a cobra, right? Yeah, cobra. Oh yeah, a cobra. I really wish they kept the old covers instead of these plain sheets. Those were cool. Yeah, they had holo holograph on it everywhere. Yeah, okay. What is this? Oh. Memento. Is there anything else to look at? I can't see anything. Can't go in there, so we'll just huck some things at this. Okay. Alright. Animorphs. I read a couple of them. I did. When I was in, like, 
middle school. I read a couple. I didn't get into them though, because they were kind of like superhero-y. Okay, memento. Oh, a puzzle. All right, puzzle time. We know how good I am at puzzles. Okay. Ideal move is fives. Okay, five moves. Okay. One. Two. Three. Four and five, because I am a genius. Mmm, got it, with my big brain. All right, let's go. Received note on the Animorphs. Well, now I have to look at the note. Um, Johnny's favorite childhood books? Of course. I don't know why I have to look at everything. I just like to be in-depth when I play games, and that doesn't transfer well to YouTube because it makes episodes long, and I talk way too much, and... Anyways. Oh my. Alright, we're kind of in the youngster age, in the middle of young and old. Oh, everyone's leaving already? But I just got here. Seems to happen to you at a lot of parties. I'll go save your childish jab for the insecure. Woo! Alright. An aged animorph animorphs book. A glass of pickled olives. I see le fromage, but where's the mouse? That's the corniest remark you've made all night. Don't you mean cheesiest remark? Wow. Nice. That's a good one. Hey, what is, what is the party? Where's the fire at? Anything to look at? Where am I going? Anything to see anywhere? There's just people. Ghost people everywhere. Alright, I suppose we go this way. Right? Are they at the meat spot? Because we should be in the forest with, like, the lighthouse and stuff, right? It kind of looks like we're there. Kind of? It looks different, though. Ah! Hello, my darlings. What? What? What is this symbol? Okay, it's like an hourglass tipped on its side. What? Just break time? What's going on here? John, do you feel any different? Now that we got the rings on, I mean. No. <laughs> Why, do you? Actually, yeah, I think so. Really? What is it like? It's just... different. Just the responsibilities, I suppose. Responsibilities. Do you like the name Anya? Would you like to name her Anya? I understand. Yeah, Anya's a good name for her. Hey, come with me. Are they talking about the lighthouse? An initial theory I have on this game is they tried to have a child at some point, and the child ended up dying. And that would be why River kind of... destroyed herself? I don't know what's going on, I don't know the condition, I don't know anything like that. Ooh, this baby-making scenario, but... Um... That was my- that's what my original theory is, and I don't, I don't know if that's right, that seems kind of far-fetched, but we'll, we'll see. Because she can't have formed a connection with this lighthouse. There has to be something else that she formed a connection with, right? I don't know. I don't know. Don't tell me, though. This can't be a good idea. I'll probably trip and fall. Any spoilers get deleted immediately, by the way. I don't even reply to those comments. They just get deleted. So if a comment of yours ever disappears, assume it had something spoilery in it. I just took it away. Don't worry. Just follow my steps. Oh, the dancing? Oh, I remember our first dance. Oh. After we got married, my, my husband and I, oh my god, we were tripping on each other. He was stepping on my dress, I was stepping on his feet. Ow, my ass. I think you stepped on my toes. Sorry. Yep, come on, let's try again. <laughs> yep. Yeah. It was probably the most embarrassing and cringy thing I've ever done in my entire life. Oh, they danced until morning? Hmm. <laughs> 
Adorable. Really gotta appreciate the attention to detail in these these uh, set pieces and these backgrounds and the sprites. They're so nice. To promise to love, to promise to love and comfort, to honor and to keep in sickness and in health for as long as you both shall live. I do. And do you take this man standing before you to be your lawfully wedded husband? To promise to love and comfort, to honor and to keep in sickness and in health for as long as you both shall live. Yes. <laughs> By the power invested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Ladies and gentlemen, I present you Mr. and Mrs. Wiles. Ah, makes me think about our wedding now. We're just two two kids. Uh, I said that and it was a year ago. Act the wedding. Uh, yeah. What did you think that was? I'm just bad at weddings. That's all. <laughs> Fluids tend to escape from my eyes. I didn't know you were that sentimental. Oh, did I say my eyes? I meant my mouth. And by fluids, I mean both fluids and solids. Uh-huh. That's a lovely image. Thanks, Neil. Come, let's find a way to get out of here. All this happiness and joy is really putting you off too, huh? <sighs> no, I just don't like watching people make mistakes. Oh! Whoa, girl, that's a little crazy. Sheesh, whatever happened to just take it moment by moment? Holy guacamole, doctor. That was a little rude. Yeesh. Ugh. Can't move. Okay, there we go. Do, do. I have, like, a hard time... I don't know. I... Our wedding was beautiful. It really was. It was small. There, were, there was family there and a couple friends. And it was small and it was really, really nice. But it also didn't change much. You know what I'm saying? Because he, he's my best friend. And he was my best friend before we got married. And he is definitely the person I love with all of my heart. I can't imagine my life without him. So just having the title and the rings, it, it didn't change anything, you know? And I almost feel bad because like people are like, oh, everything was different. Nothing changed. Absolutely nothing changed. I don't know. Oh, I better go see how your aunt is doing. Or aunt. All right, Ma. Tell her thanks for coming. I will. Bye, Ma. You seem to be really pixelated. I'm so proud of you, Joey. Oh, my left hand's cramping up. Joey? Oh, that's my grandpa's name. He passed away before I was born. Ma calls me by it as my nickname. Okay, how come you never told me about it? Because I'd rather you call me John? <laughs> Ack, not another sentimental grandparent childhood. What do you have against those anyways? I mean, you sure talk about your grandfather a lot. What? No, I don't. Whatever you say. Received a note, Joey. Why would we need a note for Joey? Oh, it's just his nickname. Okay. Well, moving on then. I see that we need one more memory, and then I need to figure out what the memento is. If we go this way. Ugh. Yes, I was right. Excuse me, cars are not, uh, physical objects for me. Hello. Oh no. Is that a rabbit? <gasps> Dead rabbit. It can't be helped, River. I'm sure they didn't mean to. Come on, we're late. Wait, is that a rabbit? Think this is the source of all those folded paper ones? Why would she obsess over some roadkill? Not to mention so many years later. Don't ask me, you are the woman here. I'll be convinced that I'm the only one when you do a cordless bungee jump. Rid. Could the dead rabbit be the source? Why? A roadkill on Johnny and River's wedding day. Why would a dead rabbit- why would she start making rabbits? Maybe she's not happy with her marriage? Maybe she's not happy in general? 
What would cause her to make all them damn rabbits? All right, we're about to make a dead rabbit puzzle. Great, okay, ideal is three. So, probably one, two, three. That's really sad. <laughs> I get that it happens, but it's still sad. All right, I'll use the dead rabbit. You know it's a fantastic wedding when the mementos roadkill. Hey. Maybe she saw it as a metaphor for the terrible marriage. So years later, she began folding the rabbits because she was reminded of how rotten it was. Or, you know, something equally pretentious. Cool story, Neil. That's what I was thinking, though. I mean, maybe? Did she want to get married to him? Ow. What the hell? Did she want to get married to John? And what was that news about why they met? Why he talked to him? Why he talked to her? Was it a joke? Was it a bet? Did somebody bet him, him to ask her out as a joke? Because that's happened to me. But, um... Was she just not happy? Poor thing. What's with all the road kills today? Don't you look at me like that. Oh yeah, he killed somebody. Or not somebody, a rabbit or a squirrel. Not so It smells like a farm. And roadkill. Deactivate the scent simulator or get away from here already. Alright. Well, do we have to go this way? Ah! Huh. We're fine. What the hell's up with this horse? Whoa. Don't do it. Don't do what? You know what. Don't not ride this horse? What are you, five years old? Okay, I won't not ride it. Yeah. Bye. Quit wasting time, Neil. Oh crap. That can't be good. Ah, do something. Uh, don't just stand there. Help me. What do you want me to do? It's a fucking horse. Damn it. This was not in the job description. Received note on Dr. Neil Watts. Village idiot. Yeah, I love it. What am I supposed to do to help him get off that horse? Neil? Neil, my friend, where are you? Uh, Neil, you in here? Oh. Who is that? Is that really a good idea? Oh, it's them. She should be okay. She's not new to this anymore. But she has never done it by herself before. I'll be fine. I'm not a child. Ah! Uh-oh! River! Oh, no. Where? What? What? <gasps> Are you okay? Ah. Uh, what's the matter? Let's go. <laughs> Hey, wait up. Aw. You be careful, you crazy kids. Huh, I wonder if Neil got off that horse yet. Eva! Oh, hey, what's up? Bye, why are you backwards on the horse? Okay. This is about 19% more than I can handle. <laughs> what a moron. Oh, am I gonna get on a horse? Better go save his bum. Okay. Oh. Now I move... Oh, space to gallop. Whee! Wow, flying around at the speed of sound. Where are they going? I'm gonna follow them. Fuck Neil. Okay, hang on. Wait, where's Neil? Neil? Are you here, buddy? Buddy? Um. Where... Where would a... Dumb scientist B. Neil, is that you? Neil! Come back! Neil! God, I can't catch you, you're too fast! Neil! How do I save him? What? Oh, there you go. Thanks! You're welcome, my friend. Ow. Hey, I found something here. What'd you find, friend? 
And where are you? Ah. Alright, horse. It's been fun, but I would like to get off now. <laughs> how do I get off the horse? I don't know how to get off the horse. Neil, help! Here, this memento will do. You have to line it up carefully with that horse, though. Don't look at me, I'm not getting on that beast again. Wait, I don't have all the balls, I don't think. Yeah, I don't have all of them. Okay, well I gotta go find them then. Oh, I have to run into them! Okay, I see, I see. Alright. Now we can go prepare the memento. I don't like horses. I'm really not a fan. There we go. Uh, I'm actually a little bit scared of horses. <laughs> okay, um, ideal is four, so let's do it like this. One, two, three, four. Lauren is the smartest puzzle solver ever in the world, ever. But we are gonna end this episode here because I've decided to kind of end it at the end of memories instead of doing it right when we get into a new one because it seems kind of cheap. It doesn't seem really fair to you guys to leave you hanging that long. So we're gonna end this episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Again, I'm sorry this video is late, but uh, stuff happens, things get in the way. Sometimes I can't avoid it. I do really try to stockpile. I will be recording another one of these on top of this one, so I will be ready for next week. Um, and I do have stuff for the rest of this week ready. I just didn't have today, and today happened to be the day that my car decided to kill one of the tires. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please check out the links to the To The Moon main website, to Freebird Games website, and to the Steam Store page where you can get this game for, I believe, $10? Could be $15. Can't remember, but it is in the description down below, so please check them out if you can, guys. This game is really, really neat so far, and I can't wait to see where we go, but... If you liked this video, please leave me a like or a comment down below the video. And if you liked me, then please subscribe today for some more quality content in the future. Have a fantastic day and don't out there wherever you are, ladies and gentlemen. And please stay safe. Much love to your faces. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.